On this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine, Bob heads to Sharon Harris Lake in North Carolina to do some largemouth bass fishing. Joining Bob will be Joel Monday with Outdoor Expeditions USA Guide Service. Also this week, we'll have a new rod from Ugly Stick. And on this week's Sportsman's Table, we feature a stuffed pork chop recipe. All this and a whole lot more. And it all begins right now. Look, this is why you come down here. <laughs> Pretty little small mouth right there. There you go. I got it. This week's destination is brought to you by Chevrolet. Chevrolet, finding new roads in the outdoors. Today's Chevrolet destination features another great fishing destination that you can find more information about by going to Bob's Top 16 at www.bobredfern.com. And be sure to check out all the award-winning Chevrolet vehicles at chevrolet.com for your next outdoor destination. Fish on, brother. All right, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Mm. Harris mm -hmm. Lake special right there. There we go. Oh, wow. Sheeran Harris. Folks, welcome to our show this week. I am fishing with my guide and my go-to guide, Joel Mundy. He's a professional guide up here in North Carolina. This is our first trip. Joel, I will tell you. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, brother. Wow, look at that fish right there. First out of the hat box, yes, man. Yes, sir. Man, awesome. Yes. Fish on, Joe. All right, brother. Woohoo! Yeah. Decent bass. Yes, sir. It sure is. Mm, mm, mm. Well, folks, welcome to our show this week. I'm fishing with my guide and our host today, Captain Joel Mundy. We are in North Carolina, the beautiful state. Look at that. Man, I will have to tell you, that is a nice looker there, man. Joel, uh, oh, we, to it. we got him. We got him. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to release him anyway. That's right. Huh? But listen, Joel guides on three lakes up here in North Carolina, and we happen to be on Sheeran Harris, uh, just outside of of Raleigh, North Carolina. Joel, listen, I tell you what, you've been guiding for how many years, my friend? I did my first one in the late 90s and uh, been doing it ever since then. I've been doing it full time now for about seven. Now, you primarily guide, there's three lakes along this chain up here. T tell everybody what three lakes that you guide on primarily. I do this one, I do Falls Lake and Jordan Lake, the big three and the triangle. And, and this one happens to be the big the big bass yes, lake. Yes, sir, right? our state's number one trophy bass there, fishery. There you go, well, but we can't catch it if I ain't getting back in there. Folks, I tell you what, we got more great fish in action this week on Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine from North Carolina. Woo! Fish on, fish on. Doubled up. Doubled up, man. <laughs> Yee! Joe, all right, man. Woo -hoo. Oh, let me see. Oh, my goodness. I got a horse. You got a big one? I do. Let me grab him for you. Bye. I got him. I got to keep it on, too. Mm, mm, mm. You already, where's yours? He's laid up oh, on okay. the floor. All right, I got it. He's going to be a celebrity. <laughs> oh, you do oh, have a nice yeah. fish. <laughs> Sharon hair is special. Mm -hmm. Now we're doing circles again. <laughs> <laughs> you got all excited. You there get the high five button. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh, yeah. Come here, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got him. Look at there. Yeah, 
you smell that? That's what I'm talking about. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, Lord, get yours up here, brother. Mm-mm-mm. Sharon Harris, largemouth right there, folks. Mm. Yours is a little bigger than mine, Bob. Look, that's okay. I won't tell nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Bo, that is some awesome fish right there, man. All right, we got to get back in the water. Yes, get so some more. All right, brother, let's do it. Stay tuned. When we come back, more bass fishing from Sharon Harris Lake in North Carolina. It's still the night shift, just brighter. Still a traffic jam, just better views. Still making an entrance, just turning more heads. Still your to-do list, just getting more done. Still packing up, just a little easier. The Chevy Silverado, making life's journey just better. At sunset, boats are required to display a red and green light on the bow and a white light at the stern. Navigation lights are for others to see you and your intentions. Remember, safe boating is no accident. Take a journey off the beaten path to Lake Hartwell Country. Tucked away in the northeast corner of South Carolina, Lake Hartwell Country is a hidden gem with waterfalls, mountains, beautiful lakes, and history dating back to Revolutionary War times. For the outdoor enthusiasts, Lake Hartwell Country offers fishing, hiking, water recreation, horseback riding, and so much more. Come visit Lake Hartwell Country, the land by the blue wall. A fear of failure is failure itself. The world of science rewards the ones who are willing to try and fail. Because without the courage to embrace failure, ideas remain ideas. But with that courage to fail and to learn, ideas can change the world. Avoiding propeller strikes. Many propeller strike injuries can be avoided by turning off the engine when passengers are boarding or disembarking. Never start a boat with the engine in gear. Make sure all passengers are properly seated before you get underway. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Life's just better outdoors. Abu Garcia, fish to win. By Upcountry South Carolina. Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. By Southern Woods Plantation, offering the best in Southern comfort in quail hunting. By Linex in Greenville and Rock Hill, South Carolina. Your Linex headquarters for all your truck customizing needs. And by Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. Still like getting a bump here, brother. Sticky. Oh, hang on there, sister. Yeah. Folks, we're fishing a Carolina rig today with about a three-foot leader, uh, three-aught fusion hook, and I'm fishing the Havoc Bama Bug, 10-inch worm. There you yeah. go. Okay, okay. Stuck him. Yep, I got him. Oh, man. Oh, come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get on. Get on. Yeah, I know. I see you. I see you. Mm. I see you. Got him. Mm. Nice. Now they're down there. Yeah, they're down there on. Uh, there's some rocks down there, and there's hydrilla down there. Um. So they're they're kind of hanging on here. Is this kind of what is the the track of the day? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you're looking for schooling fish. See you there, big boy. Um, I mean, they're kind of concentrated, and is that really what, what we look for here on the graph? Yes, okay. sir. Yeah, we're trying to find the schools that are bunched up along these points and uh, areas. We find them on the graph like you and I have done all morning and cast into them and try to coax them into bite with some of these baits. Yeah, that's what it's all about, bass yes, fishing. All right, man. Let me get my Bama boat back in the water because I can't, I can't get fishing talking about it. All right, come here. Mm. Get him, brother. Yeah, man. All right. Get him up in here, brother. All right. Mm -hmm. Average size, Sharon Harris, yeah. slot fish. There you go. Nice. 
Man, nice, bro. Nice. All right. And now it's my turn. There's one. Get him, Joe. Stick him. Stick him, brother. Stick him. Yeah, you made it. Woo -hoo. All right. Come on, man. Come on. Get him in here. Oh, we this is a good one. This is a good one. Okay, okay. All right, let me get it up. Let me get up. I don't want you knocking this one off. I'm going to, you just get him over close to the boat this time. He's coming to the boat. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Folks, Joe Mundy, we're fishing on Sheeran Harris Lake in North Carolina. That's our first trip up here. And we've got a guide that has put us into fish today. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right, come on up here. Come on, get me, boy. Ah. Awesome. Ah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, man, you got him on that, that Berkeley blue fleck. Berkeley, yep. Yeah. All right. Mm. You want to hold him or you want me to let him go? Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, take my big Thank you. That's a nice one. That is. What Sweet. did he weigh? I don't know. He's going to be six-ish, probably mm. five and a half, six-ish. He's big old been beating his tail. Sure is. Huh? Beautiful fish. Yeah, man. All right, let him go. There got to be more where that came from. Put him back down in there. See you, sister. Yeah. All right. Gone. Oh. Well, listen, Joe, real quick before we get back in here, tell us a little bit about your guide service. You do three lakes over here. All of these belong to Duke Power, okay, and you're kind of a North Carolina native, you know. I, I haven't had the opportunity to come up here before, so it's uh, it's just one of those enjoyable trips, beautiful fishery. Yeah, yeah, we're fortunate to have all these lakes close by. Uh, Sharon Harris is our, uh, the lake we're on today is our state's number one trophy bass fishery. Uh, all these lakes were finished in the early 80s, and uh, due to the excellent catch and release ethic, these guys, you know, put the fish back, and we can keep catching fish like this over and over. Well, uh, folks, and, and again, uh, he'll be on Bob's Top 16, but it's Outdoor Expeditions. You USA.com and how long have you been guiding gosh I mean did my first trip in the late 90s and I've been guiding ever since I've been doing it uh, full-time now for about six and a half years Wow well you know the one good thing uh, when folks watch shows like ours which are destinations it's a great destination you've got lots and plenty of hotels up here for folks to come stay you've got a great a platform to fish out of and you'll take care of folks that's really what matters yes sir i enjoy teaching people how to fish and watching young and old people alike catch fish it's no yeah i know i'm you talk about that old stuff i'm <laughs> senior okay well, let's get back in the water and get yes, some sir. more folks right here sheer and harris lake mm, come on man bama bug mm. Well, folks, joining me on this week's segment is Mike Welsh with Ugly Stick and Abu Garcia. And I know you're going to be excited about this because this is a brand new rod from Ugly Stick. And I'm going to let Mike tell us about it. Mike, it's um, been a while, Bo. I'll tell you, we got to get out and get on the boat. It's good to see you. Good to be here. Yeah, so thanks man. for having me. Tell me about this yep. new Ugly Stick. So we have our new Ugly Stick Carbon Series. This is our lightest Ugly Stick ever. It's constructed of 100% 24-ton graphite with a solid graphite tip. Now, what that gets you is lighter weight increased sensitivity and better balance. These rods are 37% stronger than your traditional cut and roll. Wow. And that's due to the ugly stick uh, tech construction that we use to build them with. Now the components are, are uh, stainless steel one piece ugly tough guides with soft touch Fuji reel seats and we're utilizing the wind split grip design mm. for added comfort and control. Rods come in a variety of lengths and actions in both spinning and casting and they're paired up with our the combos are paired up with our Abu Garcia bait cast and spinning reels. You guys think of everything, okay? I tell you what, this is not your granddad's ugly stick, man. This is right up to date, 21st century stuff. I tell you what, you guys never cease to amaze me, man. We appreciate it, Bob. Thank you for being here. And folks, listen, I tell you what, tell everybody out there how they can log on to see these great products. For more products. information on these great products, you can visit us at uglystick.com. After commercial break, we head to the sportsman's table for a great South Carolina certified stuffed pork chop recipe. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today.
Florence, South Carolina is full of flavor. From fresh South Carolina seafood to South Carolina grown produce and meats, Florence is the place to find the culinary heritage of the South celebrated. Local restaurant chefs in Florence are dishing up vibrant Southern inspired meals in the PD and the only thing missing is you. Explore our city and plan your food journey to Florence, South Carolina at cityofflorence.com. Full life, full forward. We are Florence, South Carolina. Want to know the difference between power bait and other soft plastics? Ask the fish. Berkeley scientists have thousands of flavors tested on thousands of fish. Natural, man-made, every bait that's ever hit the water. No matter the shape, size, or color, power bait is the only one that is scientifically proven. Fish bite and will not let go. Welcome to Upcountry South Carolina. Discover the six counties in Upcountry South Carolina that run from metropolitan cities with fine dining and cultural events to pristine natural beauty and all the adventure that goes with it. From hiking, rafting, to some of the best fishing in the southeast. Six counties, one state, a million opportunities. Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Joining me today at Downtown Florence is Chef Adam Silverman with Downtown Southern Funk. We're here at the City Center Kitchen right in beautiful Florence, South Carolina, and Adam, Welcome to the show today, the Sportsman's Thank Table. You. Listen, who doesn't love stuffed pork chops? It's a beautiful piece of meat. This came from Maypop Farm up in Darlington, South Carolina. Oh, wow. Well, look, you know, you got to talk to me while you're doing this, a little bit yep. about downtown southern <laughs> funk, okay? But also, folks, I want you to know this young man also manages the farmer's market here at the city center in downtown Florence every Saturday. So. You haven't had a chance to come down and get some fresh produce, man, you need to come on down. All right, let's do this pork chop. Okay, so we're gonna start out as a beautiful piece of meat, about two inches thick, and we're gonna do a stuffed pork chop. So we're just gonna cut ourselves a nice little slit right in the oh, front yeah. side. Okay. Opposite from the ribs. Right, right, right between the bone. And there's a good chunk of meat in there too, so you wanna get your knife in there a bit. Okay. And now I've made a bit of a we call it a bog. Okay. Kind of started with chicken bog, and then we created a chicken dish called backwards okay. bog, where we took the rice and sausage and stuffed it into the chicken. I got you. We're kind of doing the same thing. Okay. And again, um, this is all local product. We get Carolina plantation rice. The sausage is also from Maypop Farm. Oh, the animals are from Maypop there Farm. You go. The there sausage you. is processed <laughs> down in King Street, South oh, Carolina. Wow. So we're going to get this nice and deep in there. Make well, sure folks, if nice you want a copy full. of Adam's recipe on our Sportsman's Table segment today, just log on to BobRedfern.com, and it'll be right there. Oh, and wow. Salt and pepper seasoned nicely all over front, back, top, bottom. Oh, goodness. That is a good-looking piece of meat. Mm. You know, and for a lot of the chefs, you guys spend a lot of time selecting those right cuts and those places to get do. certified SC-grown products. Absolutely. And, and that really makes a difference. Okay. And when you support the local economy, David, who owns Maypop Farm, he's a regular customer at the oh, restaurant. Oh, awesome. So, you know, we kind of support each other. Yeah. Well, tell so. me a little bit while this Hummer is cooking. All right. Downtown Southern Funk, what do you guys specialize in? We specialize in playing with our food. There right? you go. Mom told us when we were growing up, don't play with your food. So we got a job where we play with our food. There you go. We like <laughs> to see different ways that we can use local ingredients uh, outside of what your typical usage would be. I got you. <laughs> All right, so how long are we going to sear this thing? Okay, we're just going to sear it until we've got a nice, beautiful golden crust on the bottom. We'll okay. Go just a little bit longer, and then we're going to flip it, and we're going to put it in the oven for about 8 or 10 minutes, 400 degrees. And when you're doing a stuffed uh, meat, you have to remember, make sure the middle of the stuffing 
matches the cooking temperature. So if we're cooking our pork to about 140, 145, you've got to make sure that stuffing is the right temperature too. A great way to do that is start off with your stuffing hot. There you go. Okay. Well, that's a great tip. This is uh, kale, curly and flat leaf, bok choy greens, and beet greens. Mm. So we're just going to take this. You just got put this. You got it all. <laughs> Right in, just a tiny bit of salt and pepper. Listen, I think you're living up the downtown Southern funk. You are playing with your food. Absolutely. There you go, Adam. There you now, go. Now, while the uh, pork was in the oven, we made our blueberry sauce. And we got blueberries here. That's from Silver Lake uh, For Farm and Forge. Okay. Uh, they're right on the edge of Florence and Timminsville. Some ghost peppers from uh, Ellerby Family Farms. Some garlic from Sophronia Farm, he's in Lynchburg. Ginger comes from uh, Crafty Mabrit down in Lake City. Onion also from Ellerby, and the sausage again that went inside this was from uh, Maypop Farm. This so, is truly certified SC. Huh? Absolutely. Right here in downtown okay. Florence. So we're not looking to cook it all the way down, we just wanted to get a little bit of a wilt on it. Okay. Pop that on a plate. Let me get this out of your way. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. And then we're just going to put our pork chop on top. Now, I like spicy things. This sauce does because it's got the ghost pepper in it. It does have some nice heat to it. Oh, wow. We're just going to spoon a little bit of that on top. And we are ready to eat. Who would ever have thought? Blueberries. Huh? Absolutely. Look at that. Adam, thank you so much for being a guest on our That's show it. today. And Pleasure. Downtown Southern Funk, okay? Yes, sir. Check it out, folks. While you're in South Carolina and more specifically visiting Florence, stop on in and see great recipes like you saw today on the Sportsman's Table and log on to certifiedsegrown.com and see what else is fresh on the menu. Well, we'll see you right back here again next week with another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at certifiedsegrown.com. Buy certified South Carolina grown products. It's a matter of taste. Take a moment to think about the food you buy and eat. Is it fresh? I mean really fresh. Or is it shipped from a grower hundreds or even thousands of miles away? Well, here in South Carolina, we celebrate fresh, locally grown food and unforgettable meals with family and friends. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose Certified SC Grown. It's a matter of taste. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional Southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. It's still the night shift, just brighter. Still a traffic jam, just better views. Still making an entrance, just turning more heads. Still your to-do list just getting more done. Still packing up? Just a little easier. The Chevy Silverado, making life's journey just better. Nestled in the western part of South Carolina is the Old 96 District. Comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick Counties, this region is rich in history, fishing, hunting, and small town flavor. Old 96 District is part of the South Carolina freshwater coast, covering over 2,000 miles of shoreline, which offer many fishing opportunities and is home to the only wild turkey museum in the world. Local businesses offer a wide variety of unique gifts and foods. Make sure you discover the undiscovered wonders of the Old 96 District of South Carolina. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. Chevrolet, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. By Lake Hardwell Country, the land by the blue wall. By the South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste. By the old 96 District of South Carolina, come discover the unexpected wonders. By South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing. 
your source for all your promotional product needs. And by the City of Florence, South Carolina. Florence is full life, full forward. Well, Joe, listen, I, I tell you what, while we've got a little of the action here, tell me a little bit about all three of these lakes. Now, Sher uh, Sharon Harris here, species of fish, best times, real quick. Kind of, kind of give the folks out there kind of a rundown. Absolutely, yeah. Sharon Harris is a uh, very diverse fishery. We have a good population of the trophy class largemouth, um, some of the best in the state, and then there's also a really good population of white perch and uh, okay. crappie as well. What's the best time to get those? White perch crappie is a uh, really good all the way through the summer. Uh, great for kids. The crappie yeah. in the summer as well, and uh, good numbers and, and decent size. The crappie really takes off well in the uh, the fall of the year. Okay, and the next lake? Uh, that's going to be Falls Lake up in the north side of Raleigh. That is a Army Corps of Engineers lake. Um, had another bite. <laughs> sure did. Uh, Army Corps of Engineers Lake, and it's uh, quite a bit bigger than this one. Uh, it's 11,500 acres in size. Good population of largemouth bass, uh, crappie. There are some a good population of white bass in that lake as well. Right. And there's also Jordan Lake, uh, another Army Corps of Engineers lake that uh, is really close to this lake, and it's also known for its population of big crappie and uh, nice largemouth. Okay. And the best time for those other two? Uh, I'd say uh, for the for the largemouth, the Falls Lake is going to be a uh, definitely going to be a known for its ledge fishing. It's going to be a summertime lake, kind of like this lake. Right. Uh, Jordan Lake can, can also be good in the summertime. It's really good whenever the water comes way up. It's a good flipping flipping lake. I got you. Okay. All right. Well, man, we got to catch some more. Man, All right. You, you done? You you catching the? Got a little bit of the bottom there, yeah, time man. Joel, I tell you what, bud. Got another one? Uh, he's playing with it. He's playing with it. I got it on that Carolina rig again. The Bama bug, Bo. <laughs> the Bama bug. Ah, come on, man. Come on. Yeah, Ooh. okay, okay, Ooh. okay, okay. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, man. You know, I'm glad you picked this hole. Mm, 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 mm. There, there you go. Yeah. Little is. head shaker. Yeah. Come on. Come on up here. Well, folks, that's our show this week from Sheeran Harris Lake. My guide and host today, Joel Mundy from New Hill, North Carolina. I tell you what, log on to his website, outdoorexpeditionsusa.com, or check out Bob's Top 16, and Joel's going to be there. If you like fishing North Carolina like we did today, listen, this is your guy right here. This is your guy. Mm. Come on, you go to dance for us. There, yeah, you go to dance for us. Woo-hoo, Joe. Thank you, my friend. Give thank me five you. right there, brother. Appreciate oh, it, man. Bob. Well, folks, as we always like to say each and every week, the outdoors is my passion, and I want it to be yours, too. We'll see y'all next week. All right, Joe, let me let this Hummer go. We still got daylight, man. Daylight. Get out of here. Woo! Yes, sir. Good stuff. Yeah, man. <laughs>